Hey guys, I did want to leave you hanging on the pie chart. So I went ahead and finished the game and I'm going to share with you my data and, and talk about it just a little bit. And maybe you'll see that it is similar to yours and maybe you'll see that it's different. I'd love to, to get some feedback or even hear what you got on your results. So if you want to share those with, with your instructor, or your mom, dad, parent, whoever, and whoever can, can imp, send the information to me, uh, that you're doing the activity with, that would be really great. And so I finished the activity. I remember I faked some of this at the beginning. And so my data is a little less random than what, what might be true of your game. Uh, and so I got carbon containing rocks and atmosphere as the highest percentages. So I spent more time in those reservoirs, which I'm not surprised by that fact. That's hopefully what you saw on your data too. The atmosphere is a big reservoir, especially for the fast carbon loop, carbon containing rocks. And uh, we clump the ocean water, ocean animals, marine mammals, all of those together. That is another part of that large carbon cycle. And so you notice they, this graph shows that they spend a lot of time together, uh, or you spend a lot of time in those reservoirs because they're connected to one another also. And then land animals is a little bit larger than maybe what sh would be should be expected. But remember, I faked that I was eaten by another animal just for the fun of it to show you that loop. So this could be bigger than what you would actually get if you played completely randomly and, and had enough data to get some good information from. But still, likewise, land plants, land animals, if we group those together with atmosphere, th that's the short term cycle. And so there's a little bit less of those compared to the longer uh, term ones. And so this is just kind of to show like where carbon is in the earth and how, how much time it spends in those locations. And also keep in mind that things move around. Okay, so again, I'd love to hear uh, some of your, your data as well. So thanks for watching. Thanks for playing my game. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed it.